How you guys doing? Zach Carrillo here. Um, I am using my time to get at some videos I wanted to release. I, uh, I'm an educator for John Paul Mitchell Systems. Uh, I'm in and out of salons weekly, talking with uh, a lot of people about, I'm doing a lot of haircutting classes, uh, a lot of men's grooming. Um, so I also educate uh, for Cleveland Shear Company. I'm a brand ambassador slash educator with them as well and we're going to be releasing some fun educational videos with that company too so today i'm here at my salon the head shop my wife my daughter we're here working we're cleaning we're open for retail sales and for carry out so i thought what better uh time to, to make an, or have an opportunity to make a video about things I get asked all the time when I teach classes. Uh, I get asked what kind of tools do you use? Why are you using them? Um, so I was here to pretty much talk about clippers today. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about my arsenal, what I love to use, why I use them, um, and just dive into the, the specs, the prices, and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's get started. This is my, my area, my rig, if you will. So. <clears throat> I like to compare clippers to and trimmers uh, to lawn tools. You know, we're doing a lot of uh, <clears throat> cutting and trimming and uh, detailing. So it's a lot like doing your lawns. Uh, so if you think of it that way, think of, we'll start out with your big deck riding lawn mower. Um, we need a clipper with a lot of power to get through hair. Uh, when they first sit down, when they first come into the chair and they're all shaggy from their grown out uh, however many weeks or months they might let go in between, um, <clears throat> it's time to get some hair off the head before we actually get into fading. Uh, if you just use one clipper always for everything, um, that could get a little uh, harsh on that clipper. So we'll talk about what options you have to make your life easier behind the chair, different things to pick up. Uh, in different situations, textures of hair, all of that. So if you're thinking about your riding lawnmower, your big deck, right? You're gonna get through what you gotta get through before you detail everything else. So when I, when a client or guest sits down, a gentleman, if you will, uh, and I need to get hair off his head to start uh, my building my fade or haircut, if you will, whatever you're going for, I am going to be picking up a powerful clipper. Uh, these days cordless is king. Um, if you've been working with cords your whole life, you know the drag it has on you. And if you're a busy barber or stylist behind the chair all day long, you know what kind of fatigue can develop over the years. It takes the years of you doing it to really experience the fatigue. I was the first guy to roll my eyes in beauty school when they told us about that. Um, now I'm constantly feeling what I need to uh, adjust so my body can keep doing this. So, <clears throat> cordless, right? We got so much freedom now. Um, I was skeptical at first. Cords have more power, right? I always thought, well, if you're gonna get into the battery situation, eventually they're just gonna fart out and die. Um, and I was kinda like, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna invest that much money into something uh, that I might not get too much use out of. To where they, Eventually, technology, everything booming these days came out with lithium-ion batteries. Um, so that is like our cell phones. We can constantly leave it on a charger, and it's going to not, you know, ruin the battery by doing that. Other clippers in the past that weren't, that are not lithium-ion, tend to eventually the battery life just tends to to dwindle. So lithium ion, I was, I was impressed. I'm impressed by the power, I'm in. If I can not use a cord, I'm totally in. Uh, I love how light these things are and I love, again, the freedom, the mobility of it. So, gentlemen, in my chair, first thing I'm gonna do, section them off, you know, if the hair's long enough. Most of the time they're coming in with like a two to three guard, four guard, five guard regrowth length, right? Maybe about that much at the most sometimes. So. <clears throat> This clipper, we'll just talk about this. This is an Andes, let's see, Supra. Uh, it's all worn off on me now. Supra ZR. This was the first one that came out. Now there is the ZR2, of course, which has a replace. You can take the battery out and put another one in, which 
I mean, I'm always putting on mine on the charger anyway. I never really have. I, I figure that would be useful in a situation of a hair show when you're not able to charge your batteries all the time, you know, and things are just happening at a fast pace and something might might go out on you and you have another battery to just pop in. I think that would be cool. Um, price point on these guys. When I first bought them, they were, I believe, around $290. I think I've seen them on Amazon today for around $270. The new one out, I believe, is gonna be $300 plus with the, the <clears throat> interchangeable battery. Let's talk about this guy. It's got a detachable blade. Um, <clears throat> I've got a, this is a triple zero. Uh, you can get yourself a five zero five aught blade and that will act as a trimmer. So if you're needing to trim out, you know, trimmer length uh, before you bald somebody, uh, the five zero blade is gonna be great for that. I like the three zero blade because this is true to basically closing your clipper. So basically, you know, like a normal clipper will come out of the box, a pivot uh, clipper. <clears throat> So, and I can go ahead and put a guard on this and it acts just like a normal clipper, just without the uh, adjustable blade. So what I do, you know, if I'm going to be fading somebody into a two guard, usually the scenario, right? I'll just snap a two guard on this guy and get through the haircut, or I'm sorry, the bulk. I'll get, I'll remove the bulk, set my, set my line and set myself up for a clean canvas to work with, right? So, that being said, this clipper, Let's see, Super Z L I. It's a two hour run time on a two hour charge. So a lot of the times I'm just getting bulk off the head and putting it back on, on the charger. So I mean, this thing never, what I love about it is it's got, let's see, the R, I got the SPMs for you guys. Um, this one runs at top speed 3,800 SPM. What's an SPM? It's a stroke per minute. So 3,800 strokes per minute at top speed it's pretty quiet I don't mind it at all uh, what's cool about this is you can adjust the speed so if I take this you can see the light my SPMs are dropping and I can go all the way down to I believe it's 1800 SPMs so say you're wanting to just kinda maybe knock out one little space and maybe you don't need its finer hair and you don't and you want to be maybe a little bit more ginger with what you're doing and not attack something so hard that's what I would be using this adjustable adjustable speed for most of the time it's always on full go I'm not really adjusting it much only only thing that I I would said that is uh, I do not like about this clipper is how long it is now when they came out with the new one uh, of course they made it a little bit shorter so <laughs> I was the first guy to buy, you know, the one I should have waited for and all that. So I would recommend the Supra ZR2 if you're going to get yourself a riding deck, pretty much big riding lawnmower to get hair off the head. What that's going to do is going to save your blades for your fading clippers. <clears throat> that's very important, especially if you're doing anywhere from 5 to <clears throat> 12 to 15 clipper cuts a day. You're going to very much need to be aware of your blades, how you're taking care of them. I'll do another video hopefully on how to clean your tools, um, but we're going to talk about how to use w what and when and why. Okay, so that pretty much covers my big lawnmower, okay? <clears throat> and you can, again, adjust, you can buy any size blades. I love the ceramic blade. Uh, these types of clippers with uh, bigger motors tend to get really hot. Uh, the friction of the metal blades going back and forth for so long gets, gets super hot. So the ceramic blade definitely cuts that, I would say, by half. And um, it's gonna give you, I would say, I like it. It's a cleaner cut for me. It feels like I'm just getting through hair like really, really, uh, it's just effortlessly. And um, you're gonna have a longer lasting blade, longer lasting, uh, what do I wanna say? less friction, less heat. So saving money in the end with blades going ceramic. They're not that expensive either. Um, <clears throat> these blades actually come with ceramic blades and I'll show you, I had to switch out some blades on my other ones that are ceramic now too. I think I covered everything with this guy. I'll put him back on. Uh, we'll stick with clippers right now. So now, now that we've got our 
you know, bulk of the hair off the head. We're going to go in and, and detail work, right? We're going to set our, our fade guidelines and we're going to build our fades. How would I start? I would start with um, a trimmer length, if you will, pretty much a 5-0 uh, to where I have This guy is what I use for it right now. It's a corded one. I like the power. You still get a lot of power with a cord. Uh, this GTX trimmer from Andis is a, I believe, 7200 SPMs, strokes per minute. So this guy, you turn this guy on, you know, it's a nice, nice buzzing uh, trimmer. I can feel the power. You can still, I mean, that's still something with cords. People still swear by them for that, and, I, and I'm a believer in that. So this guy is what I'm going to then go in. I got him down to a two. I'm gonna go in and set my guideline if I'm gonna bald him out, or maybe just leave it as a, as a trimmer length. Some guys don't like the, the full bald feel. So I would go in with my trimmer, set my guidelines, and then we'll get into fading. And when we're fading, I um, definitely recommend getting yourself a clipper that has the lever, right? The pivot, adjustable blade, if you will. So that is gonna make your life so much easier when fading. There's all kinds of ways to fade hair. You do not need one of these clippers to fade hair. I have found I can get my bald fades in and out of my chair with me still taking a breath and uh, washing my hands, getting ready for my next client within 45 minutes. Um, it just saves me time. I can set my pattern or my guidelines. I can build. I know that all the way open to half to closed is going to knock out my lines. Um, so this is an Andy's Master. Let's talk about the motor on this clipper. It's a magnetic motor. So a magnetic motor. We've got a magnet over here, right? Here. Here's the blade. So the magnet is basically magnet you know pushing pushing the middle bar if you will spine okay back and forth this clipper is the most uh, powerful I would say adjustable blade clipper in the world it runs at 14,000 SPMs so that's double basically than most of the clippers out there right now. So 14,000 SPMs, magnetic. You can just, by holding this thing, it just kind of wants to rattle out of your hand. You can feel the power in a Andy's Master. I spent many years using this guy, cutting my teeth on this guy, and very much building my biceps with this guy, because it is heavy. So compared to, the last, I would say, five years behind the chair, when I pick this up now, it feels like a cinder block. So, <clears throat> I'm not gonna say I use this a, mu uh, a lot anymore. If I do use it, it's to, you know, for, for super thick hair that I know I just need to mow through when I'm fading, all right? Uh, ethnic hair can be super coarse and super dense. So this is gonna be a great clipper to fade through that type of hair with. Um, again, the most powerful motor, on the market still uh, they came out with a cordless master now and I believe that's going to be around 7200 uh, SPMs most cordless clippers are around that and uh, six six thousand to fifty five we'll get into that <clears throat> anyway always love this clipper still have it I can't get rid of it no it's still sitting here but okay so let's get into now we're in the fade we're in we're we're not in a riding deck lawnmower situation anymore. We're into our push lawnmower, right? So we're going around and, you know, every little area that we can't get into with our big deck, we're, we're going to be pushing, getting a little more detail happening. So let's get into another option for fading clippers, um, pivot, or sorry, adjustable blades, if you will, um, <clears throat> the lever, okay? So many ways that people say that. Uh, so an or an Oster Fast Feed. This was my actually this was my first purchase. This is my first clipper out of beauty school. Um, everybody said you can't go wrong with the Oster Fast Feed. I will be the first to agree with that. 
This has been a wonderful clipper. Um, definitely not as powerful as the Andy's Master, but ultra quiet, okay? It's a pivot, or I'm sorry, I wanna make sure on these pivot motor. And what a pivot motor is, the difference between a magnet, right? It's like magnets like that. Pivot motor, you got your spine, and you got, you know, here's the outside walls of your clipper. So this guy in the middle is doing this. So it's pivoting, right? And that blade's going back and forth. So, pivot motor, very quiet. Um, it's running on nine watts. I don't know if you guys really need to know this, 12 amps. And I didn't talk about pricing. On the master, you're gonna find the master on Amazon for still around anywhere from like 90 to 120 bucks. I've seen one for like 110. Um, fast feeds, fast feeds pricing is around 70 to 80 dollars. So a great clipper, not as heavy at, at all as the master, very quiet, pivot motor. So different motors uh, are gonna dictate, you know, well, I'll, I'll say this, different hair texture types dictate what type of motor I'm gonna be uh, grabbing. So finer hair doesn't need 14,000 SPMs, right? So I can choose a clipper that's less powerful, more lighter in my hand, um, look at your options that way. Let the hair dictate what type of tool you pick up. All right, so we'll move on. So getting away from cords now, I'm gonna go into the famous magic clip. Okay, I, I kind of modded my magic clip, got a new case. There's all kinds of accessories now. It's one of the most famous clippers out there on the market. And I see this in a lot of stylus drawers now. Uh, one thing I will say about this guy, it's got a 90 minute run time, charge is good. I never really ever had these uh, fall out on me or anything yet. Uh, the charge has always been great. I will say that this is not uh, that powerful of a clipper. So I think it's, we'll make sure, 6,000 I believe, magic clip, 6,000 SPMs. Uh, your lithium ion battery, so everything I use in cordless right now has to be lithium ion for me. There's still some, some trimmers and clippers out there that are cordless that are not lithium ion. So my advice to you, definitely make sure it's LI, lithium ion. Uh, you're going to, in a magic clip, we got a ro rotary motor. So rotary motor, this is cool now. What a rotary motor does, here's your clipper wall, here's your spine. Um, it's going around in a circle, okay, and it's connected to your blade here. So it's just making the blade by doing this, it's like, if that's making sense right there, it's kind of hard to do. But the rotary motor turns in a circle, so it's bringing that blade back and forth that way. You're going to get 6,000 SPMs, battery life 90 minutes, and your cost on this is around $120. There's a bunch of different... Like I said, look for the cheapest options. Hair shows, you can usually find good deals or wheel and deal with them, right? And uh, I will mention all my trimmers and clippers have been zero gapped. Just to talk about zero gap real quick. That's open, that's closed. When that's closed, there should be hardly any gap between your cutting blade and your comb blade. It should be pushed almost, see right there, you're cutting people. Right there is where you want it. You want it just almost hanging over that edge. Uh, and that's gonna knock out a line from your trimmer that is zero gapped, okay? So if everything's zero gapped, it should be able to knock out effortlessly from bald to trimmer to clipper. Cool? All right, so magic clip. Now we'll get into and the bigger brother of the Magic Clip, if you will, the Wall Senior Cordless. Uh, absolutely love this clipper, I'll say. A lot of people rave reviews. Uh, most barbers can't put it down. They're always just going back for their Wall Senior Cordless. Uh, the difference in... Let's just go ahead and show you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, price range. These are going to be around 170 180, these are around 120. 
Uh, I love to have them both. Finer hair, thicker hair, more power, right? This more power equals less runtime. So you're gonna get 70 minute runtime compared to 90. Uh, you're getting 7,200 SPMs, okay, compared to 6,000. Uh, let's see here. I think I covered them all. You can tell the difference in sound. Okay, you can feel, I can feel more power in this. Okay. Plastic casing, very super light. I still, whenever I have a chance to use this guy for ergonomic sake, for uh, just comfort, I'm always picking it up because it's super light. This guy's a little bit more heavy. It kind of reminds me of that master feel because it's a metal casing and I like that. Uh, especially when working through thick, thick, dense hair. Great clipper to fade with. I would compare this to, you know, even though it's half the SPMs as the master, if I'm going cordless and I need to get through super thick, dense hair, uh, especially when fading, ethnic hair, super curly uh, and tangly, this guy's getting it out right now. This guy, I would probably spend double the time as I would with this guy on the same hair, trying to fade and knock lines out and get through it while this guy's just effortlessly doing that for me. I think I covered that. I put the ceramic blade also on my senior. And ever since I did that, oh my gosh. So, so another thing to talk about too, the Magic Clip comes with a stagger tooth fade blade. What that means, so most teeth, if you will, right, they're like this, okay? Stagger tooth is gonna be a little bit higher and then a shorter one. Higher, shorter one in between, higher, shorter. So it's almost like a thinning shear, kind of, not really, in a sense. What it does though is it allows for like a little bit smoother blending. So, here's a tip. Get your, when I ordered the ceramic blade for my senior, I ordered it in the stagger tooth, right? So I basically have a magic clip blade on the senior and when you put more power behind the stagger tooth blade, like I said, if I had to pick one clipper that I absolutely couldn't live without, it would, it would probably be this guy, not gonna lie. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so we covered that. Let me see, a senior, yes, let me mind, 70 minutes, 120 volt, 60 hertz, that's your frequency. Um, <clears throat> 6,700 SPMs. Not six, the magic clip is 6,000. So you, not 72 for this guy. So 67, you're still getting more power. All right, let's get into now. This guy, this is the Andes Envy cordless LI. And I, I gotta give a shout out to Corey Bacon out there a barber friend, educator friend of mine with Paul Mitchell, and he's an ambassador for Andes. So he's he's always like, you know, Zach, you gotta get hooked up with Andes, you know? And I'm like, I am. I'm like, I'm, I'm kinda like in all three companies, Oster, Andes, Wall. I mean, unless you're gonna, you know, sponsor me, I, I'm really, I, I use what works and what I like. And if I get bored with something, I like options. So the Andes Envy Li. Let me show you this, here's the difference. And here's what Corey Bacon showed me. So the blades, if you look at them this way, nice, sharp, pretty much that, that reminds me of an Andy's fade blade. It's getting pretty surgical at the end of that. I've seen a lot thinner, but that's a nice thin blade. Now look at this blade on the Envy. See how much more rounded that is? Okay, so that is pretty much more of a fade blade. It says fade blade on the box, comes with fade blade, to where I was like, okay, that looks kind of fat. But if, if you look at what it's doing, it's making, it's already molded a C shape, right? And when you're, when you're fading or taking classes, you hear barbers, educators talk about that C motion, you know, kind of rocking it, flicking out. So what that blade is designed for is to kind of force you to do that. You know, if you're the type of person that digs in a lot, I never recommend doing that. That's gonna create more lines for you. So it's always about that soft hand flicking out. And this, this clipper boy, let me tell you guys this, this only has an SPM of 5,500. So it's the most lowest power 
cordless clipper in my arsenal, but that blade, okay, if I get, you know, into situations where I'm still using, working with thicker hair, I love to pick this guy up because you know why? No matter what, I knock out my lines pretty effortlessly and it's fastly becoming my favorite clipper. And I never would have thought that because I got the reason I even picked this up. First, Corey gave me that tip about the fade blade. About two years went by before I actually got this. So that was always in the back of my mind. Uh, I was at a hair show and there was a bargain bin and we were setting up. So we were in there before uh, anybody could go shopping. So we had like first pick of the bargain bin. So I go back to that bargain bin, right? <clears throat> I'm talking Cosmo Prof, stuff they don't sell. They had three, I want to say three, or, no, they actually had probably five of them, Andy's MV LIs, and they were marked, everything was marked down, like drastically. I think they were marked down to, I want to say, I don't know, $50 or $60, and someone had told me, oh yeah, if you go over there now, Cosprof, they're going to do a floor sale of uh, 50 percent off and I'm like you get I'm like okay so I run to the bargain bin the bargain bin was not offering a 50 percent off they're already marked down right this was for like uh, you know Paul Mitchell Redkin like the big companies where if you're on the floor today we'll give you a 50 percent off deal you know to all the workers and people setting up so I go back to the bargain bin thinking because I've seen these were there for like 60 bucks thinking oh I could get them for 30 uh, so <laughs> I go back there uh, this woman's it's a it's a cash register. God love her. I come I I I, bought, I think about I bought three of them. One I knew I gave as a gift, Christmas gift, but the other two I kept for myself. I wanted one for home and one for my station. You know, but I wasn't too hip on the clipper. I just loved the price and thought, ooh, I need a good home cordless clipper. That'll do. And it had the the envy the graphic uh, cover like the blue and orange Andes, really bunch of busyness that I'm completely, if you know me, not that flashy with that look. So, but I thought, ooh, I could take that cover, cover off and sure enough, I just spray painted mine green. Um, but I got that woman, I brought three clippers up, about 60 or so bucks each, right? And, uh, and I'm like, so 50% off um, on the floor right now, right? And she was like, she had this weird look on her eye. And not, not a lot of people were in the bargain bin, just maybe 10, 20 people. And it's real big. And there's like three or four registers. So she looks at her, her coworker there. She's like, do you know anything about a 50% off floor deal today? And a uh, woman's like bagging someone else's stuff. She seemed like kind of flustered. She's like, I don't, I, I don't know. And I go, well, they just told us um, the floor right now just for the workers are offering. She goes, Ah, whatever. And she just rang them up. I didn't, you know, I was like, cool. And I got, uh, you know, three, three of these guys for 90 bucks, which online, I think they're $85. So uh, I did really well on that. And that Cosmo Prof worker, I don't know your name, but God love you. Um, that was amazing. So anyway, Envy, let's turn it into my new favorite clipper. Uh, the Andy's Magnetic Guards are you got to go with the single magnet for the the MB. the master has the double magnets but it's a different screw situation so uh love it they clip right on they do not move um these guards are i love the guard system i will say i've been using wall for like the last two years and just switching back like i said i get bored i want to try new things i want to do something that doesn't feel like like the same thing every day sometimes so I love having options with guard systems and clippers. All right, so that covers my cordless clipper situation. Uh, the MV, yeah, you can, uh, where are you? Anyway, let's get into trimmers. So I talked about my GTS, or GTX. Let's just give you guys a look at these. So this is a skeletonized Andy's T outliner. Uh, I did do a video on my YouTube channel, same channel, uh, of me 
doing this, how to to make how to skeletonize it, sawing this off and all, and um, just disregard my lack of knowledge in what normal tool, tools are called. That was fun. So anyway, the uh, difference between a GTX and a T-Outliner basically is the blades. Um, you can take this blade off and put on this one, this one, put on this one. A lot of guys do that. And you see the difference in the blades. That one has a much more shallow teeth. This one's a little deeper. Now I will say, it's preference, it's what cuts good, how you adjust your, your uh, trimmers, you know, super powerful, nice and buzzing. I mean, these guys, like I said, just want to fly out of your hands. So nice detail work, maybe front of the hairline work. Uh, I love this guy with the shallow teeth. If I'm doing design work and needing to kind of, again, mow through some hair, uh, the more deep teeth, tooth, blade, I don't know, it seems to cut a little, get a little bit more through, you know, especially if you're doing designs. Uh, this guy's really pristine for little crispy, you know, lines. So preferences there. Um, <clears throat> corded trimmers. So let's get into cordless trimmers. So Andy's Slimline Pro Li. Again, uh, I found a cool casing. They usually come in silver, black, um, but you can. The clipper world it has boomed so much in the past few years that now they have options and in, in different guards and different off companies are like molding guards from brand names and like making them different colors and just allowing you to be creative. So I figured why not got myself a, a green case. But always have loved this trimmer. And I and again if I if you're gonna tell me you can't live with you can only have one trimmer, that, that could be a tough one man. This guy and now I will say there's awesome trimmers out in the market. Um, the absolute hitter, the uh, the bevel, uh, the Babilis Gold Effects trimmer has been taking all kinds of, you know, fame for being the best trimmer on the market. I have yet to use one of those. Um, I am so not a gold guy. <laughs> so you're not selling me there. They do have a silver one, so think about it. Uh, it's just, you know, you can see how many clippers I have. If I buy one more right now. Might not be a good idea, we're gonna see. Um, so yeah, looking for sponsors, anybody wanna sponsor, um, feel free, you know. I love talking about clippers and tools. Slimline Pro Li. Let's get into the specs of this one. Slimline Pro Li, two hour run time, 120 volts, 60 hertz frequency, um, 6,000 SPM. So not too shabby. I took off the metal blade and put a ceramic blade on here and I will say that has changed my life. Um, I, I gotta say guys, my clippers and trimmers never get hot anymore, especially when doing designs. I have this thing running sometimes for half hour straight and uh, no heat. The blade cuts five times sharper, stays five times cooler, lasts five times longer. So love ceramic blades. You're gonna save money in the end. Um, and we can do videos maybe one day of how to change your blades out. I'm, I'm sure you guys are like, that aren't used to being such a clipper nerd. You're kind of probably taking this all in like, oh my God, uh, <laughs> what's he talking about? Zero gap and all that kind of stuff. Um, I take that for granted because I live, I'm not a barber, I'm a cosmetologist, but I live in the barber world every single day and I teach grooming. Um, so I'm very much in tune with the tools that are in that world, how to adjust them, how to tinker with them. And I think by learning that on your own and doing that on your own, it really makes you respect your tools more. Uh, it makes, you know, it, 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 it makes you figure out ways to improve behind the chair every day. You're constantly looking for that next, ooh, what can I, what can I adjust? You know, just like you're watching fades every day. Oh, there's something I'm gonna try different, you know? Anything like that. So, all right, <clears throat> back to trimmers. Back, okay, so, and, or so, this is gonna, again, a rotary motor, and you're going to find this for about 45 bucks. So, here's some recommendation from me. If you're gonna buy a Slimline Pro Ally from Andy's for $45,
And if you can get them cheaper, I know you can get, de um, you can find them for like probably 40, I think 41 on the Amazon was the lowest. Buy two of them. It's worth it because, okay, it's super light. It feels a little janky. That's the only thing about it. It just feels like a toy or something at home I would be using, not behind the chair, um, to where, buy two of them. I've noticed uh, some guys, I haven't had this problem yet, but the switch, the top switch, sometimes will get just overused and might flake out um, to where you never know. And they're so light, they're, they fall out of my hand sometimes, so I have dropped them on the ground and chipped a tooth on a blade before. And by doing that, even though I switched my blade, the trimmer never never performed right again. So I had to get a new one. Like it's something, maybe I knocked the motor around. All I know is they're a little fragile. So it wouldn't hurt. I mean, spend 80 bucks and get two of them. You'll always have a backup, have an adjustable one, uh, zero gapped for you know your older clients. And for kids, have a trimmer that's not zero gapped. Uh, their skin is so easily pulled into a blade because of how soft it is and they never like to stretch sometimes. So it's easy to nick a kid, real easy, when you, when you have them zero gap. So there's my advice there. Let's talk about <clears throat> this guy. The Andes T Outliner cordless. Everyone was freaking out when this thing hit the market. And so much to where, where's our master? And sure, sure enough, they came out with the master now. So now we're all freaking out, like, where's our Oster fast speed cordless? Huh, Oster? I know you're getting there. Um, so Andy's T Outliner cordless, 7200 SPMs. So you can tell, this guy's a little bit more, more serious than this guy. Little, uh, uh, so there you can do the tone test. You know, what key's it in, right? Um, so what I, what I did with this guy, now I will say, when these things came out, they were $200. $200 for a trimmer. So I was like, okay, this better be the best freaking trimmer I ever have in my hand right now once I spend 200 bucks for it. So, I was disappointed right out of the get-go. Right when it came out of the box, this thing, my girls all have one. Uh, we're all like, this, it had the metal blade had the metal T outliner blade with the shallow teeth. I was like, okay, I got out of the box. I'm like, this better just cut good right away for $200. Um, you know what I'm saying? Turned it on. It was zero gap, seemed to be uh, out of the box, which is nice. I didn't want to mess with it. If I don't have to mess with it, man, great. If it cuts good, I'm, don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So got these out of the box. First cut with it was, I was lining them. I was like, First of all, it's a rotary motor as well. It's, it's a more powerful rotary motor than the slimline. So I was like, this is gonna be good, you know? Not good, uh, to the point where I was pretty furious that I had spent $200 on a junky piece of plastic. So, that being said, did a lot of reviews, watched people, got the reactions, same thing all over the barber world, pretty much. Everyone was like, that thing's junk. But I gave it one more chance. I read the reviews, I seen what people were doing to them, how to modify them to make them better, blah, blah, blah. I even tried to re-zero gap the blade that it came with, you know, thinking I just, maybe if I just take it apart, put it back together, it'll cut better, you know? Anything, something's wrong with it. So I found out people were taking the GTX blade, right? Same exact blade, only deeper teeth, and putting it on the cordless T-outliner and saying how much it cut so much better. So I one up that, I, I got myself, I got a GTX blade and I did the porcelain, right? <clears throat> now, this thing cuts the way it should. The way it should have came out of the box at $200, it's cutting like that now. Will I take this guy over this guy? That's a tough one, very tough. I can't answer that, I really can't. They have to both be on my station and I'll pick them up because I'm bored with the other one. Honest answer right there. So I finally got this thing working and I can justify my $200, you know, price tag for it. Yee! So it, it does come with a dock. So does this guy. I have to have, I love docks. Don't make me, you know, like I wish these things could just, but what I gotta do, I have my cords here and I just plug them in. 
put them up here. Boom. So if you're not blessed with a lot of electric on your wall, like I am, when I built this place, I was or these walls, I was like, you can see I got four, eight, 12, 16, 20 outlets on my wall. I knew what I was doing, right? And these are cool, these clipper holders. So be creative, find a way to put your station together and make it functional, make it to where everything's just boom, boom, you know, a flow. It's gonna save so much more time behind the chair. Okay, so we can get into, I think I covered everything on this guy. 100 minute run time. You can get them now for about 170 bucks ish. You can, you can probably find them cheaper than that. You could probably barter or find a barber who hates his that didn't know to switch out the blade and get it for real cheap, switch the blade, and now it's cool. All right? All right. <clears throat> So, getting into foil shavers. Um, started out with the wall shaver shaper. I will say this, guys. It's loud. It, as soon as you turn these on, like the whole salon's, the whole salon's like, whoa, someone's getting uh, mowed down over there. So, back to lawn tools. So we went to big deck riding lawn mower, get hair off the head, to our fading clippers, push mower, starting to do more detail work. Then we get into our trimmers. I will compare trimmers to weed whips, right? You're going around and just getting every last little hair everywhere and making it crispy. So once we get all that done, um, this is a great just little cleanup. This is the broom. This is getting all the, the hairs off the uh, sidewalk, uh, all the dust, the leaves, right? I'm gonna be hitting the neck. If I'm doing a bald fade, this will be going up higher on the head. Mid fade to high and tights, this could be all the way up to almost the parietal ridge. So, any foil shaver that I've used, everyone I've used works. Um, it's a matter of what feels good in your hand. They all are pretty much a box like this, so they all feel the same. The gold babyliss, which I don't, I'm not, I don't have anything babyliss, babyliss, uh, in my my collection at all um i don't know my opinion like i said it was a little gaudy for me just their design a lot of people love it i love the flashlight kind of idea um i'm just not so much of a, a gold rose gold like chromey kind of guy um but everybody you know that's just me so they have chrome foil shavers and i don't know i'm ocd as hell so if i see fingerprints on things, I'm like, you know, it's gotta be wiped off like right now. So that would drive me nuts seeing like oily, you know, it, no. Uh, my opinion. Uh, so this works good for me, it's Andy's, it's the black one. The reason I switched to this one is because it came with a dock. And that's what I want to say to Babilis. You would sell me so much more on those effects trimmers if it had a dock. I could, come on boys. See what you got. You know, you guys are charging that money. Get, make it, make it uh, easy for us. You guys know that docks, the docks are where it's at. We don't want things falling off our station. You know that we just have to plug it into and just sit there. Um, so anyway, this has a dock. I love it. This is going to get the uh, foil shavers actually cut closer than a straight razor. So reason that is these little holes. You can see them holes. Uh, the hair, you know, you can only cut stubble. So I've seen this mistake. People trying to use this at like a one guard growth. That's only going to pull the hair and, and very much uh, annoy and hurt your client. So the hair has to be cut to stubble, meaning trimmer length. So trimmer, five zero, right? Getting the hair off the head. That's the only time I will touch that scalp then if that hair is that short because that's just gonna, it's only built to cut stubble. Long hair won't just go in these holes. So when you're running these holes over the skin, the, the stubble, the little prick that sticks out of the skin goes up inside those holes. These rotary blades go and they get under the bulb and, and actually rip the bulb out. That kind of sounds aggressive, but you're not feeling that. It's actually a comfortable um, experience with a light hand, right? You don't want to be pushing into these guys. Everything's light. The lighter your hand and everything you're doing, the lighter and smoother your fade is going to be, I promise, your whole end result, your blends. So, 
only will cut stubble. Uh, people thought they, they were broken. When I taught a few classes, ah, that thing don't work. That, mine's broken. I'm like, well, let me see it. You know, and I figured out she wasn't cutting stubble. She was cutting into guys' hair with like, you know, a bunch of hair on the head, like longer lengths of hair. I'm telling you, if it's that long, it's not going to get in there. And it's going to, if it does, rip and pull. So, stubble, um, very powerful. This guy is 80 minute run time. I'm never really using that much. So I put it right back on the dock, good to go. To clean this guy, this pops off. I'm using an air gun through all there. Spraying my disinfectant, air gunning this guy out, back and forth. Disinfect, right, back on, back on the dock. So just to recap, we talked about, we compared clippers and trimmers to lawn tools. So this is what I would recommend. Okay, Zach, what do I buy if I, if I need, you know, what do I absolutely need if I'm doing a lot of clipper work and I'm getting serious and I've got a little bit of money to invest now your clients are going to pay for your, your tools. They're going, to, they're going to pay for themselves, guys. So what do I need to, to get started and a good set, a good collection to get going? So we recap here, our riding lawnmower, big deck, right? So I definitely recommend one of those. Uh, cordless is always king in my world. So I like the Andes Super ZR. There is the ZR2 now, a little bit shorter easier to not bump into shoulders. Um, <clears throat> definitely recommend one of, the, one of these type of clippers, a powerful clipper that doesn't have a pivot to get hair off the head. Save your fade blades. Next, we talked about a push lawn mower. Um, if I had to have one clipper to do everything, because I know you guys don't have tons of money. See, this is over years I accumulated my tools. Um, it's a lot invested, you know. Um, the more passion you have for what you do, you're going to be investing in tools. One clipper though, if you have to buy one, uh, you can't go wrong with the Wall Senior Cordless. There's so many cordless powerful clippers out there. From the reviews that I have studied, you all know me, I've, all I do is watch people talk about tools and do haircuts. So I've seen all the reviews, I've seen what people say. This one I, I recommend is probably my favorite cordless so far, Clipper. So, push lawnmower. Um, trimmer, uh, for the price, budget, best trimmer out there right now. Slimline Pro Ally, my opinion. Uh, can't live without this trimmer. Uh, here's your weed whip, right? So, and then you must have a foil shaver, or a foil, a balding foil uh, shaver. So, my choice is the Andes, the black, it comes with a dock. And this will be your broom, sweep up, put everything in the bag, and your day's done, time to have a beer, right? So, here, come on over here, Taylor. There is what I recommend. Now, if you guys do have even a little bit more budget, go ahead and add a, a not-so-powerful clipper to your collection. So I'm going to choose my magic clip, right? So I'm going to have a lighter clipper, more runtime, finer hair. Uh, more dense, thicker hair, more powerful, right? So right there, guys, is what I would recommend you guys looking into. The brands are up to you, um, but this situation is going to be so much more helpful in your everyday clipper, um, <clears throat> clipper usage and how to get through your haircuts and not not uh, be dolling your blades out with one clipper that I'm sure a lot of you just go ahead and throw into your drawer. Oil your blades. Okay, this has been Zach Perillo with Clipper Talk 101. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be constantly trying to pour out more vids on everything, art, music, hair, anything creative and positive. Uh, and if I like it, it's going out. So. Thanks again for watching. Tune in uh, for more to come. Peace and love.